All right, go guys. It's uh, Damien Hyde here, Reptile Connection. This is just a quick video on how to remove a egg from a gravid female. Uh, this is an aspiration technique. Primarily, we're going to remove the egg yolk from the egg with a syringe um, and allow the female to naturally remove the egg by herself. So what we need to start off is we need an alcohol swab, a syringe to, to suck the yolk up in. Obviously, we need a needle. I only need a small needle here. Uh, and a, a tray to, to squirt the excess fluid into. And obviously, you need a female that uh, unfortunately hasn't passed an egg. So the, the, sort, the story behind this girl, so uh, New South Wales Anteresia stimsoni, um, and unfortunately, in the early processes of mating, um, she ended up with uh, RI, so I took her out and wasn't so much going to breed her this year. Uh, unfortunately, she actually became gravid and went to lay eggs, and when it came to laying the eggs, this, as you can see here, this last egg has decided not to come out. So what we need to do is, around this region here underneath, is insert the needle and absorb the yolk and then within the next 24 hours uh, they usually naturally disperse the egg on their own and I can get her primed and sort her out and treat her RI effectively so it doesn't keep coming back. Um, yeah so what we need to do is first off prime the needle, syringe and the girl So that's all good, it's ready to go. This is an iodine swab that I'm using here. Uh, an alcohol, any alcohol swab from a pharmacist, chemist will do. Um, unfortunately I only had an iodine swab at this present point in time. So I'll just get this out. As you can see it's got the iodine swab on there. What we, the aim of this is to clean the, to clean the area. So um, we're not allowing any additional bacteria into the egg itself. So as you can see, this is the area there that I want to swab. As you can see there. And now, just I just set the girl up. So literally this area here, as you can see where the eggs are. in between the actual vent in the middle of the egg just go into the actual egg itself hmm makes it a little bit harder on your own Sorry about that, as usual, video gods against us. The syringe didn't want to work. So I have a new syringe or prime now. Just to go back. Usually it's best if you can get two people to help you. One to hold us from the the uh, the actual girl, the other to make you and the needle steadier. I'll just go in a different section. Same principle applies. Let me just wait, and as you can see, oh, I just noticed I'm not on the video. Sorry about that, guys. As you can see, the needle's filling up. The syringe is filling up. And we're just applying a bit of pressure to allow the liquid to come through. As you can see, the egg's already getting smaller, so the, uh, the feces that was around it is actually coming out as well. And I'll just release that off. 
obviously there's a lot of pressure in there already and as, as you can see it's already moved see I could probably if I wanted to apply a bit of pressure and force that egg out there you go just like that without any pressure or reduced stress to the girl I was able to extract enough liquid to assist her with getting the egg out under normal circumstances I probably wouldn't have done that if there was a couple of others but I've been in situations also where they've come down there's been a whole backlog of other eggs so I've used the same technique to absorb it and then she can actually pass this egg and then pass all the others without any issues anyway well that's it from me today I uh, hope it was a valuable lesson for you all and um, yeah stay tuned more videos to come thanks